Now that you guys understand what NFTs are, I'll go into how to trade them, uh, how to buy them, how to store them in a secure manner. So this is a beginner workshop on everything about NFTs. So a little bit about myself. Um, founder of Blockchain Academics, we run a YouTube and uh, education platform. We attend all the major crypto events. I'm a crypto trader, NFT trader. I make mid six figures trading NFTs in the last 12 months. I speak at as many events as I can, a father of two, and I love traveling uh, to as many countries as we can while trading NFTs in crypto just from uh, our laptop. All we need is Wi-Fi. That's the beauty of it. So disclaimer, no NFTs were copy or pasted for this workshop. We own all of them. So why would you want to buy an NFT? Why would somebody want a picture of a dog? or like a donkey. Um, there are multiple reasons. Some have utility, uh, and we'll go over some of them. So this is a Flyfish NFT by Gary V. Uh, it's the first restaurant NFT which gives you access, exclusive access to dine in the restaurant. And they had pop-up events. One was a caviar and champagne yacht meetup in Miami. Here's another NFT that gave you an uh, exclusive meetup which was Nelk, uh, Full Send Team, which was a meetup in California. You might buy NFTs for other reasons, like joining an exclusive alpha group. If you buy this NFT, you have access to this Discord or Telegram with like-minded traders, and you can stay ahead of the market. And that's how I got uh, the Goblin uh, Town NFT, if any of you guys are familiar with that. Does any of you guys own NFTs here? Okay, a few of you guys, awesome. So, they're just like altcoins and you know the whole crypto market, there's so many NFTs coming out, it's so hard to keep a track of them, but when you're in a group uh, with NFT traders and they've all purchased that same NFT to be in that group, you have like a like-minded uh, you know, community and they're sharing tips and things like that. Also, airdrops, you might buy an NFT to get an airdrop you saw with Board Ape Yacht Club, they gave you multiple airdrops from uh, the Mutant, the Kennel, Ape, the, the land from uh, other sides, and the actual Ape coin. And then you can actually buy NFTs that give you passive income. Uh, at the end there, I have an NFT that pays me about $17 a day, and I get paid in their token. And it's about 500 bucks a month, and eight, six, $6,000 a month, uh, a year actually. And that's after it tanked like 80% with the whole market. So there are multiple reasons of owning an NFT. And at the simplest form, you have a profile picture. You know, uh, you have celebrities like Mr. Carter himself rocking a crypto punk. Instead of buying cars or houses, you have people buying NFT nows from Board Ape Yacht Clubs. We even saw people sell his uh, NFT for what, $69 million, which is just nuts. So that's some reasons why you may buy NFTs. You may buy them just to sell them, to hold them long term. There's multiple reasons, and there's there's more that I didn't touch on with which with the whole play to earn in metaverse. But I believe we have a speaker right behind me who will crush that. So before we can uh, get into the NFTs, we need to download MetaMask. It's the most popular. Uh, it's the most popular wallet for trading NFTs. You can install it on multiple uh, browsers and even your phone. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough. So when you download a wallet, you'll always get a 12 or 24 word secret recovery phrase. This is like your password. You'll never share this with anybody. If they have access to this, they have access to all of your crypto tokens, all of your financial assets, and anybody asking for this is just, is it, it's a scam. So. You never share your private keys, you never make a digital copy, you store it in a safe location, potentially multiple locations, and you never share your private keys. 
Once you create your account, you get your QR code and you get a public address, which is your wallet address. And with this, it's like an email in a sense where you can share it publicly, you can send it to people to send you crypto, you can post it on your social media so people can tip you. So this is basically your public address and then the other part, which was your private keys, is the private key which gives you access to this wallet so you'd never share your private keys. After you have your wallet, you're good to go. We're gonna get to OpenSea and then we're gonna connect our wallet and this is a tip that I'm going to give you guys. When you use MetaMask, so um, I'll switch over to my browser after, but you have an account, as you can see, account one. We're going to make a brand new account. Anything you do, maybe that's like you're on DeFi protocols, or maybe you're using a bridge, or you're trading NFTs, you'll make a new account for everyone because unfortunately, there are bad actors in the space, and you know, when you're minting NFTs, you're on like these crazy, you know, websites minting, you know, goblins and dogs and cats and like, you may run into a bad contract that might take all of your NFTs or crypto, Ethereum or whatever altcoins you have in there. So if you split the wallets up, you can have like another hot wallet in your wallet and you can trade the NFTs and if you hit big, send it out and I'm gonna show you how to store it safely on a hardware wallet. So this is my travel wallet and anything you know that I get in the NFT market that I think is gonna do well, I'll send it off to this. So I never have the uh, uh, potential of losing it. After you make your OpenSea account, you can go to the profile, add your username, your bio, all that basic stuff. I would recommend adding your email address and social media just in case you have an NFT that somebody wants to buy and you want to reach out to somebody. And or if you get offers, you get those offers directly to your email. Because sometimes they do like a 30 minute offer and you got to accept them quick. After you have your wallet and your profile set, we're going to move to one of the most popular NFT collections. This is the Board 8 Yacht Club. And I'm gonna show you guys how to navigate OpenSea. Uh, very basic, it's very easy to do so. Uh, so first of all, up top you have the items. In NFT sets, you wanna know how many NFTs they're, they're able to mint. Usually it's 10,000. If I'm looking at something that has like 50,000 or 100,000, are they gonna mint out? Is it a money grab? I probably wouldn't mint that. But this one has 10,000. On the right, you can see owners, 6.5 thousand owners. The more owners, the more it's distributed across different wallets. So it's not just like one large holder or many large holders who can dump the price. You can see the total volume, and then you can see the floor price. And the floor price just means the cheapest NFT in that collection that's being sold. So for the Board Ape Yacht Club, it's 98 Ethereum, which is impressive. This was done a few weeks ago, so I'm not sure what it is today. And then you have on the right your best offer. I'll share a quick strategy that I use for buying and selling NFTs profitably using one of the best off offer uh, features. So if you owned a Board Ape and you wanted to sell it today, you can go to OpenSea and get 90 ETH right now. So there is some volume and, you know, uh, depending on the collection, you can sell your NFT pretty easily if you list it for floor. On the left hand side, you have all the traits, you have all the rarities, and when you mint an NFT, everybody has the chance to get a rare because they're randomly uh, generated. So if you mint one and I mint one, you could get a one out of one, and that would be worth way more than the generic ones that are selling on floor. And speaking of that, we'll go deeper. This is a board ape, uh, a BAYC, uh, one of the apes in the collection. At the bottom, I highlighted properties, and then you can see all the rarities. So here, we have a purple background, we have a bone tee, a eye patch, gray fur, uh, a baby's bonnet for a hat, and this is where uh, it gets nice. For the mouth, it's a grin gold grip. So if you get an NFT, you go to your properties and you look at which one is the rarest. So you see that there was only 91 of these NFTs that were issued. And if you look at the floor price, 98, compared to where the gold grin ones are selling at 169 ETH. So we mint NFTs 
And sometimes we get lucky and we'll get a rare trait or we'll get a, you know, a one out of one and they're instantly worth like five or 10x more. Um, and we'll sell them right away to capture profits. So going to another NFT set, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick uh, buy if you guys have never used it. You see the floor price is right there, 0.03 Ethereum, or you can make a collection offer. So if you have time, if you're not in a rush, you can bid low. You don't ever have to buy at market, kind of like trading. You never have to market buy, you can put a limit order. You can put an order on whatever you want, and mo more than likely a distressed seller, or somebody that needs to sell, might come by. So here it is, we're gonna buy uh, this colonist for $47, our MetaMasks connected, We'll confirm our purchase. It costs a little bit of a, a gas fee, um, and then we've purchased it, as easy as that. And then you want to sell it. The sell button is right there. You, it's owned by you, and then we'll move on. You can see that you have two choices. You can do a fixed price sell or an auction, but we just listed it for one. For this uh, workshop, nobody will probably buy it, but it's listed for one Ethereum in one month, and then you have the fees there. I'll approve the transaction and then have it listed. So buying and selling on OpenSea, that took me like a few minutes to do, um, and it's very, very easy. After you have an NFT, let's say you have a winner and you wanna send it off to your hardware wallet, you can do that all through MetaMask. So we will uh, go into our MetaMask, and just like we created an account, we're gonna connect a hardware wallet. And you have all the different hardware wallets uh, that you can uh, that you can connect to your MetaMask right there, and then you can see that I've connected one of my accounts is with your within your hardware wallet. You have unlimited amounts of Ethereum addresses, so uh, you can just choose any. And then you see on my MetaMask, my hardware wallet is connected. It says Tracer right next to it, and I can just copy and paste that address. I can send it off, and now it's sitting in my vault, and nobody's going to touch it. It's in my NFT, uh, you know, hidden somewhere safely. And now your NFT is in a safe, secure, you know, if you have like a board ape or something uh, worth 10, 20, hundreds of Ethereum, you wanna make sure it's not on a hot wallet as we've seen a lot of hacks. So that's pretty much the basics. I'm gonna go over some NFT resources, but before I do that, I'll give you a strategy that I do. Uh, and OpenSea just added this feature, so it makes my life easier. It's the May collection offer. I used to go through all the NFTs in the 2,000 or 10,000 sets and just put manual offers, but now you can put an offer on the whole set. So there's a 5.05 .05 offer on this. The floor is 6.82 in Ethereum. I'm pretty sure that's my offer. So I'll offer uh, an Ether 2 or sometimes anywhere from 30 to 60% less and I will try and wait for a distressed seller and then I'll list it for floor right away. We can see that actually somebody's beaten me to that on this same uh, on this same collection just two days ago. He bought it for five and he flipped it for 6.8 in the same day, probably a few hours in between, and made an ether, one ether plus in a day. Not bad. And you can see like I'll go to any high volume or decently volume or very popular NFT artist like Xcopy or Beeple, or I'll go to any collection, honestly, and I'll put in 30 to 60% offer, cheaper offers than Floor. So this one's at 10 ETH, Floor is at 15.69. If I get it, I'll list that 14 right away. I eat the fee, I'll make an Ethereum or two. And that's like the most basic of, I call this a floor sniping, so. And if I'm gonna go over my resources very quickly, um, this is IC Tools. You can look at all the NFTs by sale by volume. You can catch what's hot for the day. So today was Super Fried Chicken, Goblin Land, Dragon Tat, like some crazy stuff. They just pump them out. You come in, you trade them. The sucker holds these and thinks like it's the next Bitcoin or something like that. But you know, there are only a few NFTs that I really believe in. This is rarity.tools and you can check out the rarity of your NFT and all the traits. This one is Nansen. It's a little bit more for, I mean, an intermediate trader because you can look at uh, where smart money is going. You can track wallets. You can see what they're buying. And then this one's my favorite. This is a lottery premint. It's a lottery system where you actually enter a raffle and you try to win the raffle. And if you win, you can purchase the NFT. There's hundreds of thousands of people who try to get into these raffles. But if you get in, it's like, 
a jackpot. This was Moonbirds. This went on pre-mint, 2.5 ETH. I think the top was 30 Ethereum. So we try for these pre-mints every day we find them. And if we get lucky, we decide to mint that day of, and then we pretty much just send it there and then. So uh, that's pretty much it for my presentation. We make free crypto videos. We're not here to sell you anything. You can check us out on Blockchain Academics. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'm right here. Um, there's a website that I use, which is like an NFT portfolio visualizer, but it wouldn't get the rarities, so it would just give you the floor basis. And I couldn't find, I didn't find an app. I see a lot of, we invest in a lot of IDOs, and I see new products coming out like that, but no, nothing that I would. There's a gap for like NFT tools and analytics and all that stuff that's something you can fill. Yep? Is there any research on where the highest spending buyers of these NFTs are located in the world? I mean, if you go to Nance and the, the uh, tool right here, it'll show you the most profitable wallets and some of the most uh, profitable in whale wallets, smart money, and what their activities are and what they're doing, so. But do you know what countries? The, the uh, you can't are? attach a country to, to an address, and I haven't seen any data like that. Maybe in terms of buying crypto? but not NFTs, so I'm, I'm not sure, sorry. Anybody else? When you sent uh, the uh, NFT that you had from MetaMask to your treasure, yeah. did you have to pay any gas? Yeah, so I actually I have a picture of that right here, and that was $2.98, so it's worth it. If you want to you know, protect your NFT, I paid $3 to send that to my hardware wallet. But if we went back to February, that gas fee might be- It could have been 30 bucks or $100. Yeah, but you know, when I'm trading them profitably, I, I don't look at gas, as crazy as that sounds. You know, I just sell. Uh, but yeah, uh, when they, when gas is higher, I don't, I don't trade the lower priced NFTs, just to make it more worth it. But right now, when gas is cheap, there's less market participants, there's less people on pre-mint, and NFTs are still pumping, so there's a lot of money flying around. Last question. Last question. Gas is the fee that you pay to transact on the Ethereum network. Um, no, I mean, it's like when you transact on the blockchain, you need to pay a little bit of a fee in the native currency Ethereum, ETH. Uh, yeah, and every blockchain you'll pay somewhere cheaper. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Wael.